We have a series of videos on common practical procedures in the children's emergency department, so I hope you enjoy. In this video, Arani will be talking us through a paediatric lumbar puncture. Start by gathering your equipment. You're going to need chloroprep, drapes or a sterile dressing pack, sterile gloves, gown and mask, a spinal needle, local anaesthetic and or sucrose and specimen pots. So the most important thing when preparing for a lumbar puncture is making sure that your patient is in the correct position and that you're comfortable uh, with the positioning. So you want the bed at the height that is comfortable for you and you can decide whether or not you're going to sit or stand for the procedure. And the patient should be in the left or right lateral position with their knees to their chest. When feeling the landmarks um, in a smaller child, such as a neonate, you, feel, you can feel from the anterior superior iliac spine across, feel that at the front, feel across to the spine's processes at the back to find your landmarks. Um, in a larger child, you can feel the posterior superior iliac spines and feeling to the midline to the spine's processes there. As anaesthetic, uh, you can use topical anaesthetic uh, such as LMX to be applied prior to the procedure um, or you can use local anaesthetic such as lidocaine. In the neonatal age group, we would usually use sucrose as an adjunct to the procedure. You can apply a fenestrated drape or use a drape as a sterile drape um, on top to allow for hand positioning. So feeling the landmarks again. Okay. So we've got our okay, so you're getting the patient into position. You're aiming the needle towards the belly button. Now that I felt a pop, let's check if we're in the right space. So we're looking for CSF. And there we go, we've got some clear CSF, so we're gonna catch it now. Ideally, you want 10 drops of CSF in each container. 